What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you cheat codes on your wakeboard at the cable park. I wouldn't really necessarily call this 100% a cheat code because it's not actually cheating. It's more of a hack. And I kind of figured that some of you guys that are more newer to cable wakeboarding wouldn't really know about. Handle passing early is the hack I'm talking about. And no, I don't mean pre-spinning. I mean actually passing the handle early while you're on a feature and then actually spinning off of the end of it. I definitely think this is a great way to work smarter and not harder. And it's also really nice whenever you are first learning to spin or something like that because handle passing is much easier and it requires a lot less tension than actually doing it in the air so i think it's pretty helpful for whenever you're first starting to ride cable i also think when you're first attempting to do this it's easier whenever you're approaching an obstacle on your toes just because the back of your body is facing the cable and it'll be a lot less likely for the rope to unwind you early while you're still on the obstacle This can be done on your heel side as well though. I just think it's better to learn it first on your toes, then later down the road, you can learn it on your heels as well. Just so y'all know, whenever you are on top of a feature, a plastic wet obstacle, there is a lot less drag than say, you're actually on top of the water. So whenever you are on top of that slippery wet plastic, it's a lot easier to pull yourself forward and set that handle into your other hand behind your back nice and early than say, if you are on the water, the rocker line on your wakeboard slows you down and there's more drag. So it's harder to handle pass on the water than it will be on top of a plastic feature. This early handle pass hack can be applied on kickers as well, especially when spinning toe side backside off the kicker. It's a lot easier to actually do that handle pass early on the plastic of the kicker than when you're actually traveling away from the cable in the air. You build a lot of tension in the air. So I feel that there's the least amount of tension while you're on the kicker right there. You can set the handle behind your back nice and early. Also when doing this on the kicker, edging and then backing off just before it can help making that tension a lot less as well. This hack isn't for beginners only. It could actually be applied to some more advanced tricks as well. It could be applied whenever you're changing up on a rail and in the middle of a change up, you could handle pass early so you're ready for the next part of the feature or you could handle pass early and spin from one part of the feature to the next. I forgot to film this portion because it's been dumping rain all day, but if you are in a front board position on a rail, you could actually handle pass while you're still in that front board on the rail, and you could actually do a backside 90 off the end of it, backside 270, backside 450, or whatever, but you'll already have that handle right there and ready to initiate your spin exactly the second you leave the feature. Keep in mind, if you do handle pass early, it's extremely easy to make the mistake of pre-spinning and pre-spinning would actually be cheating whenever you're going off a kicker or off the end of a rail or something like that. So whenever you do do this hack, make sure you're patient and wait till you've actually taken off of the kicker or wait until you've actually left the end of the rail to actually spin out. 
I don't know if this video is actually a tutorial or if it's just me making you guys aware of this hack, but either way, if you are struggling with spinning off of features or even off of the kicker, this could be extremely helpful to you. So try it out and uh, see if it works for you. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future or what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn next. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever, so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.